but just you know be able to hold that quality time and like keep it like it's not what i see this first one not really that good but whatever <laughs> uh, i thought it was in my head but like it's not that good. Honest. but no the one that's least like i don't know like how to word it important like, to us yeah you know yeah yeah i guess i, I guess, guess act of service i guess least and for the simple fact of because of what she said you just it, like naturally do it, it you naturally do it you're yeah. not thinking about it so like yeah i don't really care because it's gonna naturally happen mm -hmm. so that's i guess the least important one because it's already there like mm -hmm. if i care about you the act of service is already gonna flow some type of way yeah it's already gonna be there it's no effort if you care about the person whether in a relationship or a friendship it's no effort so what am i thinking about right, right, i don't right. have to think about nothing it's there yeah, so like that's the beginning. least <laughs> like, of mine like the concerns yeah and which is kind of it, it's not gonna make sense because i guys like said i'm very lucky enough to have a partner who does this but I am a very big sensitive crybaby, as I like to completely repeat. Um, I feel like, in my opinion, gift giving would be the least important to me. Mm. If I was able to still feel love from you holding me, because I could buy it myself. Like, I could buy it myself. And, like, conversation. I just like, if I need number something. Two. Yeah. yeah. Like, if I need something, I can get it myself. You thinking about me and you getting it for me, like the, the story I mentioned with the necklace. I just wanted that because of the thought behind it. That's gorgeous to me. Like, little stuff like that is gorgeous. All the other gifts I have, like, out of the kindness of its heart is wonderful. They're so amazing. But I, I'd much rather, not that I'd much rather, but I would have accepted a full day of just cuddling in bed. Or, you know, just a full day with our phones in the cabinet and us playing just dance and Mario Party and, you know, us playing in the snow or, or, or whatever it is. Like, I'd much rather have that than all the Chanel bags and all all the, you know, Louis Vuittons or whatever in the world. Because to me, that it, it, I need him to be with it. I need him to be present. That's, mm -hmm. that's what I'm trying to say. I need him to want to be with me and want to enjoy that time with me. So if we take away the the affirmation, I, uh, I agree it's with that the, one because I don't um, need the presence. Like I don't you're talking about the affirmation, you not the the the, 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 the service. Like yeah, if you if we're service. not thinking about that, then yeah, the mm -hmm. gift giving is not needed. Yeah, because if you're not if you're probably, with me yeah. and you that's care all, about me, that's all, that's all that yeah. I need. That's my least one too as well. Not not because I'm poor, but it's because like I'm poor. It. But like I just don't see like. Giving gifts and accepting gifts is cool, but it's not like it's not um, yeah, giving you this because I love you. Yeah, motherfucker, you showed me. But thanks for the shoes, though. You feel yeah. about it, you know what I'm saying? But you know, yeah, it, it's hard for me to say that because, like I said, gift giving is one of my biggest love languages for my friend. But again, I say it because I need it. I I do it for their. Because I know that they'll appreciate it, not just because it's like a random ass. And it goes with everything else. It's not just a gift and I'm leaving. It's a gift and I'm spending the whole day with you. Yeah. yeah. So I guess it, it goes along with something else. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. would you say your least like important one is? Definitely gift giving. I would probably. Uh, yeah, everybody's saying gift giving because I mean... y'all like to give gifts out here. <laughs> <laughs> but like, do you think like more like? more females like the like the words of affection and touch and more males like the you know like the gift giving and the spending quality time like Probably. i don't know because i feel like every female that i talk to this about is like always like either like that acts of of um Service or words of affirmation? No, no, no. Uh, the words of affirmation and affection the touch shit. Yeah. But like most of the males would be like yeah i mean just spend time probably time so like is it like would that could that be like your number one like yeah i mean it should be everybody number one just like what musa was saying like yeah because it all starts from there but let's just say i mean we, i we, said we, my we, number we, one. We, we were already well established with it or whatnot like you think it's more females i mean it's more males number ones yeah. than females number yeah ones. does that make sense as a question though i feel like it that does shit, if, like wordy as a month yeah um i mean because clearly like my first reaction to the question to the original question is physical touch like i'm gonna always say physical touch because in my mind i feel if, like if we're talking about relationship wise in my mind 
I'm already with you, so quality time is already there if I want the physical touch. I don't need to say quality time. I would hope that you already know that. But the physical touch, you might not know that. Right, and I mean, know that I need that. Right, I'm just talking about, talking about like a technical term. I mean, a technical yeah. like level. like Girls versus... Like, how you just said, like, of course I would say physical touch. Yeah, but... Because I'm a... But I, I said, of course I would say quality time, even if I'm within or at the beginning. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're a female and I'm a guy. So it's just like, it is, it, just is it, does it vary? Like, I never know a guy to be like, yeah, physical touch is my love language. I'll, I'll give you an example. Just like speaking on my exes, um, there's this one ex that he needed a lot of words of affirmation. Yeah, I know. But he hated being touched, like hated it. Um, and it was really hard because mine was like, I need to be touched. And I, I will tell you all the time that I love you, but I need to be touched. So like I could give his him or like his i could give him his but he couldn't give me mine so it just didn't work out but just for an example like that i from my experiences or like the people that i've had the pleasure and not the pleasure of being with um most of them are not as touchy as i am as a, as a girl or as a female i'm only speaking to myself i like to feel I don't know. I like to feel cuddled. I like to feel embraced. Yeah, my bad. No, but like, yeah, like I, I know that. <laughs> and you know, depending on the man, it really just depends on like everything, like how they grew up. It depends on you know what they think is you know which the most masculine. Which exactly, is which weird. is a really big thing. Masculine masculinity is a big thing because yeah. yeah. some people are very much in, like in tune with their you know feminine side, and some people aren't. And you know, some people don't like to be touched in public because. I remember this one time I dated this guy who didn't like to be touched in man stores. Like I couldn't hold his hand in like Bass Bass Pro Shops or Home Depot or Menards. Like I couldn't even like be by him. Why? Or, like why like was I couldn't even like hook his arm. Like that was I couldn't touch him because it was a man store. Why? Because really? he, why? Because why? he was trying to build something. I don't know. Like, no, like no reason. Like he would just be like looking around in the aisles, but it was a man's store. That was literally his word. His eyes would be like, "Man, what is you doing, girl? Get, man, get off of me." <laughs> so it's just like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a bitch. <laughs> So, anyways, I guess it's more of a feminine trait. I think it's a more of a feminine, yeah, thin, yeah, that feminine word. Yeah. yeah, damn. Okay, yeah. So cool. Versus a male trait. But again, like males should be have able it. to like accommodate for that shit. Right. Could it could like it really doesn't need to be a servant because it could be for age, like yeah. you know, like it could be for um multiple uh, heterosexuality or yeah, homosexuality. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it should be like, for, like, like serving race, yeah. ethnicity, Something. exactly. Because yeah. some people are more of a touching. It could be like a little thing. different or whatnot. Okay. Yeah, but black people don't like to touch. Well, they they speak down on they, like men they claim hugging that. on people. Like, you, why are you, you hugging on I'm, another I'm, guy? Like, oh. no, like why are it's you hugging on another guy? Or, or like, those why are you? You know what I'm about those memes of like the girl in front of the guy and like the guy's like holding her and like the the meme says um when she's about to buy your PS5 or something you know what I'm yeah, talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that's so funny. <laughs> but like you gotta look at like ethnicity and how you your culture and how like they play on that like it's very much so like for men it's like for black for the black culture it's you can't express your feelings you can't express blah 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 so like yeah. you're gonna grow up and, and be thinking that you're gonna think that but just go touch affirmation is not gonna be there as strong same thing with at least for my my family like men they really grow up like the macho like don't cry like macho, you know you don't macho. have to be you know like you know? nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> i hate you both <laughs> <laughs> But like, you know, like you can do like a nice firm handshake, but you know, I don't want to see you guys hugging, but you know, like my family, um, that's like out, like more closer. That was like mostly my outside family, but my closer family, we're very affectionate. Like we hug, I hug my uncles, my uncle, like stuff like that, especially because we don't see each other that often. So yeah, it really does depend. Yeah, I think it Age, does race, ethnicity, culture, how you grew up, Junior all of that. Yeah, I think all it Sexuality plays a, plays a role in what you think. I think it's starting to change a little bit now, but I think it's definitely still there with the macho mentality. But it's actually kind of funny to me. Because <laughs> what the fuck you need to be macho for? You're around your girl. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's just me, though. Well, but, like I said, the man story, you know, if, uh, if you know, another big guy walks in and you're, you know, holding your girl, like, I love you. Right, yeah, like, another big like, guy okay. comes in without a girl. I'm, oh. here, like, I'm in here with my girl. What are you talking about? <laughs> but some like, people don't have that, like, security in themselves. Like, it's really much like, nah, you're embarrassing me type of mentality. I know, because they're a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, but yeah, you shouldn't feel embarrassed because your girl went to, oh, yeah, let me hold your hand, man. I'm going to probably, like, the fuck you want to hold my hand for right now, but whatever type shit, like cool, like 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 let's get it, but like why now though? Like you, you want to hold my hand? Is that in the car or some shit? Like I don't know, but me, it's all about me. It's all about the location. Like I do it, but like I'm gonna just be like, why here? Like why do you want to so, kiss like, and why, why do you want to kiss in Home Depot? Like what the what the fuck is happening right That's now? Dumb. Why do you want to kiss in GameStop? Like, I'm trying to look at a game, but you... Give me a kiss, mate. <laughs> like, hold on. I'm trying to figure out this game. Like, you I mean, we'll be at the mall, all four of us, and then we'll just... We'll be talking, turn around, and they're over there kissing. But that's mainly... Lying. I feel like that's mainly Jocelyn, yo. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just be... you just be straight up chilling. I swear to God, he just be chilling, and here she come, like... <laughs> and then Moose just be like, oh, okay. And I'll be looking like, bro, cut that shit out, bro. Like, okay, I'm not out here making out in public spaces, but you I do. You gotta work your territory in public spaces. <laughs> look, man, y'all be I do give, like, little kisses. Because sometimes they look so cute, like the sunlight. Yo, like, yo, ass. Yo, ass. Cappy. Yo, ass. Cappy, yo. If we could have seen each other with the VR, you would have went over and tried to kiss him. You would have fucking VR. You look so cute jumping from the little. Okay, first of all, it just looks really cute. It was weird in VR. How does he? He looks like the rest of us, just in red. He looks like a red. He looked like a zombie. They were in red. We were in blue. You look like a fucking zombie in that bitch. Oh wait, that second game. When he took off the glasses, he had the glasses mark. It was just so cute. Okay, whatever. Oh yeah, that's dumb. I should be in a motherfucking. I don't know. Fucking dog shop. Like, give me a kiss, babe. Yeah, because I'm thinking of our child. I'm like. <laughs> okay, said, so with that being I, said, or no, I should have said like Bath and Body Works or some shit. Like, no, I actually, no, I should have said like Hollister or some shit. You guys are like shopping in Hollister. Like, hey, baby, let me. Get... <laughs> but why? What the fuck? Why here? Listen, dressing right. rooms are a different story. Look, we're okay, to go over there, y'all doing too much now. So, oh, Christ's name. <laughs> we're just gonna cut it there. Um, <laughs> that's gonna be the end because y'all cut it up. <laughs> But and that's all period. But thank you for watching my video. And that's all person anyway. Okay. And I just wanna say What's up? all opinions are our own here. So like yeah. we all think very differently. You know what he I might have said I don't agree with and what I might have said she might not like whatever. But it's our personal opinion. Don't take it to heart. Yeah, we are not counselors. We are not none of that. Yeah. We are 24, 25 year olds just talking about our personal experience. So no tussles in the everything comments. Everything that was said in this video is completely our own individual opinions and how we feel in a relationship and outside of a relationship with our friendships and not with our ex friendships. You can feel how you feel. If you want to say something, put in the comment. She may comment on it. She may not. I recommend she don't do it because <laughs> it's not going to turn into a hot debate. We all have our opinions with stuff like that. I curse a lot. Sorry for the viewers. I don't like curse words. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, beep, beep, bleep, bleep. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's all our opinions. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm actually the leader. So okay, um, thank don't you cut for that watching. part out either. Don't cut that part out either. But yeah, go. Sorry. Thank you for watching my video again. Um, trying my best to. And this dude over here at the end, like, cut, 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 cut him out of the whole thing because he's not even. He's not even supposed to be here. But yeah, oh my God. sorry, sorry. I keep going. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, everything is gonna be in the description below. Part one, part two. It's probably gonna end up being posted the same day or literally like day one day the next day just so y'all can get the whole gist the whole tea um not leaving y'all out all my information is gonna be below my snapchat oh no not mm -mm, we don't do that um my instagram twitter and tiktok is gonna be below some things are simply private like my private life period even though it's only like 120 i love every single one of y'all but i'm gonna need my space hey, and that's all period and y'all have a good holiday. Yes, and make sure y'all go see Spider Man Far From Home starring William Perkins and the big game crew. Okay. Bye. Just cut just cut that part off. <laughs>